Hey guys, so I will be honest with you. I own two marketing companies and one of the marketing companies took out a thousand dollar PPP loan. I did ask for it to be canceled. I asked Chase if they could remove it and I could pay back the money. I attempted an email as well in phone call to pay back the $1,000 loan. My other company did not take any loans out, so it was $1,000 total for my marketing company. I was shocked to learn Jeff also had a digital marketing company. As you can see from my LUS, L-U-S channel, where I talked about how the marketing agency was booming. We had a fantastic end of 2020 and 2021 was our best financial year due to many of our clients having PPP loan money. And I mentioned in those videos that even though I did not directly take PPP loan money outside of $1,000, which I desperately tried to return, I did benefit from people having more money for marketing. And I mentioned this, all the videos I talk about are date, time stamped. They were uploaded maybe a few days after I made them. And I was working 18 hours, as well as most of my team was working 18 hours a day during this period where Jeff Wilson from Sports Card Investor got a loan for his marketing company. So now I, I do think it's not right to talk about Sports Card Investor because those are two separate businesses, so I agree with that. So I'm gonna talk about his marketing company, which I'm almost certain Jeff does not want me to talk about. I think people are actually directing the ire towards the wrong place. Now, PPP loans, they were a cluster F, right? They were just terrible. They should have been loans initially. They were loans to get by. That's why they were called loans. You were supposed to take the loan, it would pay no interest on it, and you were supposed to return the money. Then, you know, the U.S. government had a bright idea, hey, let's just forgive the loans. But when that happened, people double dipped. Jeff took out two loans, one in 2020, which I think is completely reasonable because he doesn't know what's going to happen. Um, I didn't know what I was was going to happen, but I didn't take out the loan, right? I just waited to see. And one in 2021, which I think is less justifiable for his marketing company. Now, his marketing company, I've done some research on it. There's not much on YouTube. I think they made a video. He made a video a month ago. He spent a lot of time traveling to sports cards, buying sports cards. He spent so much more time on his sports cards than his mar marketing company kind of begs the question like why you know why are you spending all this time like in my normal day i don't make videos for a living of course but i spend you know i work my nine to ten hours a day working on my marketing company and then whenever i get off work i just make some live streams number one i can tell you digital marketing was booming during the period that jeff got these loans for his marketing company again if Jeff doesn't want to talk about sports card investor, that's perfectly fine. I understand taking loans because they didn't take loans and it is a separate company. But let's talk about his marketing agency that took multiple loans. In fact, you can see that they went from 56 jobs to 52 jobs. All this information is public. All this information is on multiple public websites, um, including, you know, why they took the loan, why. They have a general, even though we don't know exactly what the salary was, it indicates that most people got paid over a hundred thousand dollars at his company, which is ridiculous. You know, I my starting salary at my company is thirty six thousand, and we're in Houston, which is probably the same as Atlanta. There are a lot of holes that I can point out at his own company, so I think the. If you're concerned that taxpayer money was misused, we don't need to talk about sports card investor. We can just talk about Jeff Wilson and this company, which he's part of, obviously. Um, this size of the company's PPP loan indicates the number of employees on payroll during the eligibility calculation, typically 2009, 
was higher than the 52 jobs reported as retained on the PPP application. This could be caused by reduction in employment since 2009 due to coronavirus or other factors. The minimal number of employees this company must have in 2019 to qualify for this loan received is 56. So he basically only had 52 employees, but they assumed um, 56 because that was the 2019. Uh, the 52 jobs reported are not enough to account for the loan range received per employee payrolls cannot be estimated because the $52. So there, there is some questions to be asked about like what's happening with this company. And I know that Jeff never wants to talk about this company. He never mentions it. Men like my anime waifus, right? They have the Runrex logo in the background. And whenever we're live streaming, if you look at it, it's the company. It's a marketing company I own. I'm not ashamed of my marketing company. I'm not embarrassed. We took a thousand dollars and that was it. We took it to see what the process was like, really, as kind of a curiosity for me as an attorney to figure this out. And you know, he's saying, "Oh, slander, libel, and stuff like." He, I think Jeff is a lawyer. He should know better than this. He's a public figure. It's difficult to prove those, and the truth is a defense. And unless Jeff wants to open his books. Now, I'm actually very curious how much he made from his NFT project, how much he made from the Mojo app, which is, in my opinion, very, very sus, right? Uh, how much he made from the Ken Golden, having Ken Golden on, how much he made from uh, promoting fractional ownership, uh, how much he's making from his other businesses. Like, the reason people don't sue for slander and libel is the truth is a defense, and there doesn't have to be a lot. Of, there can be an iota of truth, right? Plus, he's a public. He's definitely a public figure at this point in time, because he makes himself out to be. So, big misconceptions on the PPP loan program. You were not forced to take it. Many companies did not take it. Many did, uh, but it was supposed to be a loan. That's why it's called loan, not like free money, right? It was called loan because you were supposed to pay it back. Now, the government kind of fumbled around, right? And then suddenly the loan became forgivable, like, overnight. I don't know, like, where, like, this idea came from. But it came there, and all the people supported it. And uh, the loans were forgiven. Uh, my solution to this is kind of like the Cinderella Man. And one of my favorite movies is a boxing movie. Uh, he goes to return back the money. Like, he goes to the, the help, you know, the relief fund, and the people are like, whoa, why is he here? He's a boxing champion. And he puts the money on the table and says, I'm returning this money. That's what it means, in my opinion, to be American. When you put others in front, you, you took the money to take care of yourself. You're now in a better place. You're buying millions of dollars of cards or you're, and taking lots of vacations. So you're in a better place, and you can afford to pay back. For the next person. So it's such a powerful scene. Because there are like a huge line for the relief. And he's waiting in this line. People are like why is he double dipping? Why is he double dipping right? And then he goes there. I'm returning all my money that I took from you. From the government. I don't want this. That's what it means to be bloody American. That's my opinion. But how many people are, are like that today? Probably zero. I mean, I tried to do it because I thought it would be pretty cool. In fact, I even filmed myself going to Chase trying to do it, kind of like the Cinderella Man, and uh, obviously I got kicked out. So, so it didn't happen, and they didn't take my money, but I was trying to mimic that scene, and it didn't work.